welcome to a new episode of github copilot in today's episode we'll look into few of the hints and techniques associated with copilot starting from compile error fix how we can take the help of copilot to fix the compilation errors occurring in our terminal window or how to explain some of the concerns in the system or in our code with the help of copilot and end with some hint on how to use inline chat so without further ado let us move to the demo so i'm starting with a c sharp program it's a console application developed but when we de- build it a dotnet build this is the terminal window where we compile the code and execute it once we compile the code there is some errors coming so i need copilot's help in fixing it so select the error right click click on copilot explain this now copilot is trying to understand what exactly my errors it's given a detailed explanation and suggested some code i need to use this code for fixing the error that's what copilot mentioned so i just taken as it is if i need more information i can go ahead and read this information completely so it's given a detailed information on what exactly the bug compilation error and how it occurred so now i am going back to the compiler and trying to build again so this time i encountered another error deals with the again file system so let me take the help of copilot again L- last time it's a namespace reference issue this time there is some other issue is ha- happening let me see whether copilot is able to help me with this issue so it's able to identify there is a typo it's like a typo where read all lines instead of that i have mentioned all lines the code i may be taken from some online or some friends that contain some typo so i am able to build it now let me just try to build and see whether the fixes are working fine so you can observe that if the build is succeeded so this is how you can take the help of copilot to explain the compilation time errors or the errors coming in your terminal window so moving to the next one how to take copilot's help in explaining the concerns so here i have few concerns it's uh, indicated by the system itself so how to get more information here plt is given first one so let me go and just hover on that issue and select quick fix and there is an explain using copilot so i can go ahead here now is what exactly the explanation coming from copilot good it's able to rewrite the complete code either i can take the complete code re- re- rewritten it fix the errors here plt the reason is this particular import is missing that's the reason so i will take only this particular import statement to fix it this error is com- completed and i have still errors related to the code this may be got fixed as part of the suggested complete code block instead of taking that let me again go the same aspects quick fix explain using copilot so it's able to give me the recommendation the reason is i have used a spelling mistake in the scores here that that's a reason for the error so let me go ahead and fix it either i can take this code piece as it is or just replace it save it so it's completed the code let me see whether i will be able to execute the code to understand the code is going to compile it so i am going to python 3 this is demo.py yes it's able to display the score and i have received the uh, floating in another screen all together there is a float sentiment score that is floated in a separate screen all together so it's working fine so the issues are fixed using copilot 
Now going to the inline chat feature. So any new file or any files you have, uh, you can go and use this combination, command I in Mac system for asking Copilot to start giving you the details. So I'm going for command I and asking define a method to validate prime numbers. Define main to invoke prime and display result. This is the requirement for me. So it's an inline chat. I just uh, press enter. So let me see what exactly it's doing. So it's uh, trying to complete the code base. Either I can accept or retry or discard it. So let me go ahead and accept it for timing. This is accepted and it's complete code is there. I can again try with uh, executing it. Sample.py. It's done. There is no print came. The reason is there is a ender number. It's there. So main is invoked. It's supposed to happen this one. Okay, I haven't saved this one. Sorry, it's my fault. So enter a number 54. It's not a prime number. 13 is a prime number. It's working fine. Now, along with this, I need a uh, checking on whether this number is even or odd also. So I'm going with the same inline one at even or or checking and then invoke the prime so prime checking so i am not saying i have already prime checking exists so let us see whether copilot is able to connect or take the context and give me the proper code base so here it should define a new function for checking even or odd then invoke the existing method so this is what it's done. So let me just accept it. So it's a rewritten the complete main one with the even or odd checking, even if even number or odd number, then went for the prime checking. So based after the even or odd, then went for prime. And it's not defined any new prime checking kind of thing. It's used exactly the same existing one. So it's a inline code also or inline copilot chat is also taking the context of the code and suggesting the code snippets. That's all for today's uh, demo. Thank you.